Hi everybody, today I'm missing soccer and watching my Colorado Rapids play, so I thought I'm going to pick a book about soccer. This book is called Winners Never Quit. It is by Mia Hamm and it's illustrated by Carol Thompson. If you don't know who Mia Hamm is, um, you need to check her out. She wrote this book, Winners Never Quit. Mia loved basketball. Mia loved baseball. But most of all, Mia loved soccer. She played every day with her brothers and sisters. Tap, tap, tap. Her toes kept the ball right where she wanted it. Then smack, she kicked the ball straight into the net. Goal! Everybody cheered on her team. But sometimes it didn't work that way. One day, no matter how hard she tried, Mia couldn't score a goal. The ball sailed to the left of the net, or to the right, or her sister Lovedy, the goalie, saved the ball with her hands. No goal, no cheering. Too bad, Mia, her brother Garrett said. Better luck next time. But Mia didn't want better luck next time. She wanted better luck now. I quit, Mia said. You can't quit. Lovedy said. Then we'll only have two people on our team. Come on, Mia, her sister Caroline pleaded. You always quit when you start losing. Just keep playing, Mia, Garrett said. It'll be fun. But losing wasn't fun. Mia stomped back to the house. Quitter, Lovedy yelled. Mia didn't care. She'd rather quit than lose. The next day, Mia ran outside ready to play soccer. When she got there, the game had already started. Hey, she yelled, why didn't you wait for me? Garrett stopped playing. Sorry, Mia, he said, but quitters can't play on my team. Yeah, said Lovedy. If you can't learn to lose, you can't play. Garrett passed the ball to Tiffany. Martin ran to steal it. Tiffany dashed around him and took a shot at the goal. Lovedy blocked it. Mia just stood by the side and watched. The next day, Garrett picked Mia first for his team. Mia got the ball. She dribbled down the field. Smack! She kicked the ball toward the goal. And Lovedy caught it. No goal. No cheering. Too bad, Mia, Garrett said. Better luck next time. Mia felt tears in her eyes. She's going to quit, whispered Lovedy. I knew it. Mia still hated losing, but she didn't hate losing as much as she loved soccer. Ready to play? asked Garrett. Mia nodded. Garrett grinned at her. He passed her the ball. Mia ran down the field, tap, 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 with her toes. The ball stayed right with her, like a friend. She got ready to kick it into the goal. Mia kicked the ball as hard as she could. Maybe she'd score the goal. Maybe she wouldn't. But she was playing, and that was more important than winning or losing. Because winners never quit. Hi, I hope you enjoyed reading Winners Never Quit. While playing soccer with my family, I learned the importance of being part of a team and how to lose gracefully. Throughout my soccer career, these lessons have helped me succeed. I have often said there is no me in Mia because in soccer and in life I could never do it alone. Whatever you love to do, remember winners never quit. And this picture is, it says Mia focuses on the goal with the ball at her feet at the 2003 Women's World Cup Tournament where it was said she played the best soccer of her career.
And this picture, in 1979, an eight-year-old Mia, who is the third from the left, is playing with the Sidewinders, a team her father, Bill Ham, coached while their family was stationed in Shepherd Air Force Base in Wichita Falls, Texas. And this picture down here, Mia's family was later stationed at Randolph Air Force Base in San Antonio, Texas. This 1981 photo shows her throwing in the ball. Okay. And this picture here, Mia in the center and her teammates celebrate winning the gold medal in Atlanta at the 1996 Olympic Games in front of 80,000 fans. Prior to this pinnacle moment in her career, Mia was the youngest woman ever to play with the U.S. national team. At the age of 15, she won her first World Cup championship four years later in 1991. In college, she played soccer at the University of North Carolina, where she led her team to four consecutive NCAA championships. And this picture, despite the disappointing loss to Norway in the final games of the 2000 Sydney Olympics, Mia celebrates with her teammates. She helped bring home the silver medal. And this Mia scores the penalty kick against China at the final game of the Women's World Cup in July 1999. After two 15-minute overtimes, USA defeated China and took home the world championship in front of 90,000 soccer fans and more than 1 billion television viewers worldwide. With 40 million viewers in the U.S. alone, it was the highest rated women's sports event on television in U.S. history. Mia, at 27, became the world's leading goal scorer in international competition, male or female. In this picture, Mia on the left steals the ball from Australian soccer star Julie Murray at the inaugural game of the Women's United Soccer Association, WUSA, in 2001. She was the captain of her team, the Washington Freedom. Two years later, in August 2003, Ham helped lead the Freedom to what would be the WUSA's last championship. of Mia Hamm. Keep reading. <laughs>